And I will build it as the days of old. As the days of old. The 12 tribes of Israel ruling over the rest of the nations. Right. Ruling over the rest of the world. That's what we were put here to do. Teaching like the days of Noah, facing the east, facing my demons, taming the beast, bringing a sword to cut it in pieces. Ain't for the peace, shoot for the stars, but I'm aiming at me. Ain't but one way to the heavens, I cannot just stay asleep. It's time to wake up. The picture painted the book pretty. Of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. 11. 11. 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. What is the beauty in hearing that scripture right there? that all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, right? Could you imagine going to the kingdom of heaven, right? And seeing the same pedophiles you see walking around right now, the same drug dealers dealing drugs in the kingdom, the same murderers? Bring it out! Is that what we want to see when we get to the kingdom? Break them up! Don't we want perfection to live in happiness when we get to the kingdom? Why would you yourself want to see the same evil people you see right now in the kingdom of heaven? What sense would that make? Read! In that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is falling. The tabernacle of David. What is the tabernacle of David? That's when King David was ruling righteously over the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. All 12 tribes of Israel. Right. It's prophesied that that same self is to come back in the future. So where can I find the other nations being involved in that? They don't exist in this matter right here. Right. The kingdom is for the 12 tribes of Israel. Read really. right. right. The tabernacle of David that is falling, and close up the branches thereof. And I will raise the breach. And close up the breaches thereof. What is the breach? The separation between the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom. Now those that's the southern kingdom, the American blacks, West Indians and Haitians, are gonna reunite with the northern kingdom, which are the Hispanics, the Latinos, right. the Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, right. North American Indians. Dominicans, yes, right. we're one family. Right. Right. Divided right. by what? Religion, right. language, colorism, completely divided. But now, you see the prophecy in the last days, right before these bombs drop, we prophesy that we're going to come back as one. Read. Yes. Right. Right. And I will build it as the days of old. As the days of old. The 12 tribes of Israel ruling over the rest of the nations. Right. Ruling over the rest of the world. That's what we were put here to do. Dude. The blacks and Hispanics were put here in America, were put here on earth to keep the other nations in check, to keep the Chinese in check, right. the white man in check, the Arabs in check, right. the East Indians in check, the Japanese in check. Right. We were put here to rule over the earth in righteousness. Right. But in turn, what did we do? We started following after the other nations, right. eating pork like the other nations, eating bat like the other nations, worshiping their idols. Allah or rock like the other nations. Right, right. So we fill up. So what the most high say, I you don't listen to me and my commandments? Now listen to the other nations and follow what they gotta do now. And but yet I'm not gonna cast you off forever. While you're in that captivity under the other nations, you're supposed to learn to keep the laws and seek the Lord again. Right. Read. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. So what is our purpose to do once we come back as the 12 tribes of Israel? Read. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. We're supposed to be in rulership and we're supposed to have slaves. We're supposed to have servants. Right. That's the prophecy. If you don't believe it, read your Bible. Stop listening to your lying pastor. Pay him your taxes. Yes, because money, that's not tithing. Your pastor been taxing you all along. Right. Read. And all, and of all the heathen, and of all the heathen, all the other nations that's not the 12 tribes of Israel, we're going to rule over them. Three. Right. Which are called by my name, mm -hmm. saith the Lord that doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Who is the plowman? All y'all going to work right now. Y'all know who the plowman is? The plowman is the working class, the slaves. That's us. We gotta get up every morning and go to work. Right. Be afraid to call out because we might lose our job. 
We might get our pay up. We got a we in this position right now. We pay taxes to another nation. Yes, Caucasians pay taxes too. Who do taxes go to? Their own nation and their rulership. We're paying taxes to a ruling class that's not of our own people. What does that mean? We are yet this day in our captivity. Give me proof, chapter 3, verse 8. We are still in our captivity. We are still in slavery. Why? Because like the brother put out earlier about the Willie Lynch, we hate each other. Right. Brothers come out here not doing no harm to nobody. The first thing you want to go, go do is say what? Suck your mother. For what? You can say that to the white man. We can say that to, to the East Indian man. But when black men come out here and suck your mother? Come on. That's exactly why this, our communities are destroyed. That's, that is the root of gang violence. That is the root of rape, murder, pedophilia. Shalom Israel, Mosa and Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you will see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth to the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth to the four corners of the earth, man. Stop playing games. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>
Are we not faster than them? Are we not stronger than them? Physically, mentally, spiritually, we're stronger. So how did they conquer us? That's the golden question. Once we stop keeping the laws of God, that opened up the breach. You understand? Give me that Isaiah 30, then we're going on Revelations. 30 verse 8. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book. So the prophet Isaiah, the most through the Spirit of the Most High, is saying, write these things down in a table. Write it in a book. What is that book? The Bible. Right. Why? Because it's going to become a time in history where we're going to need to be reading this. Yeah. Right. And that's right now. Read. Of course. That it may be for the time to come. That's right now, my sister. Read. Forever and ever. Th that this is a rebellious people. We are a rebellious people. So remember to ask you, how did they conquer us? It starts with us being rebellious. Right, right. The issue is us. We just honor God's We just honor laws. God's law. So that's, you know what? You don't want to follow my laws of holiness? So I'm going to, yes. And rule, uh, like we did under King David, under King Solomon, yes, 80 years combined. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Y'all want to follow my laws? Now follow these nations who are supposed to be learning from you. Now you, you, be, you get underneath them now. Read. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. How can the pastor come up in your face and say the laws of God don't matter? How can a pastor teach that the laws of God don't matter and the laws of God are done away with? But then when someone gets shot in the street, the whole church is crying. Why? When Ray Ray shot Pookie, you just taught in the, in, in, you just taught last Sunday, yeah. the laws of God don't matter. So guess what? When you read the book of Exodus chapter 20, thou shalt not kill, you taught them people that the laws don't matter. Right. Thou shalt not kill. You don't got to obey by that. Bring it out. So do you see the hypocrisy in the Christian church? I'm familiar with that. How can you teach the laws of God have done away with, but be upset when an old woman gets raped up the block? The Bible says that rape is considered murder. Right. You're murdering that woman's spirit. Right. So how could you teach, that, how could you say the laws of, God, the laws of God have done away with, but be mad when you hear about somebody getting raped? When your car gets broke, when you wake up in the morning and you see your car door halfway open, you're like, oh, come on. Right. So I left my car door unlocked, everything in my car gone. Okay. F is all the time out here. Why are you mad? If you are upholding that the laws of God have done away with, it don't matter. This is the problem. The pastors that are leading the communities, they're lying to us. Right. And guess who they're getting paid by? The government. And guess they only teach certain scriptures. They don't teach all scriptures either. Right. That's exactly That's what they I do. This, uh, if you go home, Google something called the Slave Bible. Inside Washington's Museum of the Bible, a single volume that is like no other. The so-called Slave Bible. Remarkable not for what's in it, but for what's not. So about 90% of the Old Testament's been removed and about 50% of the New Testament's been removed. Uh, to put it another way, a normal King James Version has 1,189 chapters in it. Uh, the Slave Bible has only 232. Missing are chapters and verses that might have encouraged uprisings. Book of Exodus, redacted. No story of Moses demanding Pharaoh, let my people go. Gone is Galatians, and the verse, There is neither bond nor free, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And no Jeremiah, woe unto him that useth his neighbor's service without wages. You see how they cherry, certain scriptures go to say like verse 1, 2, 3, they'll jump to verse 25. Mm -hmm. They remove like 15 verses. Some chapters are completely removed, some books are completely removed out the Bible. Right. When I was younger, my, my, my brother's was in and out of jail. They used to come home with this little green, little green Bible. It was either green yeah, or orange. Green, it was yeah. only the Psalms in it. Right. That's the scriptures. Why would they only give that out Certain in jail? Yeah. It's, just, it's the same concept. They're taking scriptures out, pull this, so to keep you subservient. To keep the black out of it. Only give them scriptures that will make them smile. Don't give them no scripture. Teach them nothing about the Bible that will cause insurrection. Right. right. Give them the state of mind to stand up. Right. Men leading by example.